What is up everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Welcome to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend and good luck on your Void Pools if you are summoning this weekend on the 2x. We're back at it guys, back to normality. I gotta say I missed this, just being back to my desk. I missed it. Honestly, just to have the cam on, just everything to be back to normal. So I'm back at it, baby. Finally, finally able to say that. In this video, we're going to discuss a couple of topics that uh, they've been teased by Plarium, plus other things going around in the community, because I've seen them going around everywhere. So I kind of like want to discuss these topics with you guys as well. If you guys remember, we had uh, set a giveaway on my arena video, which was this one right here. And we're giving away two codes, Twitch Prime codes for you guys to get Gambo. We're going to extract the winners at the end of the video so if you're curious if you want stay tuned for it basically plarium teased live arena new great hall reworks and kind of like making it different they actually mentioned this quite a while ago they mentioned about arena as well that arena is not where they want it to be so they're planning to change arena now i'm not sure if they've they're completely gonna revamp the entire classic arena they're still going to keep it the way it is and they're just going to introduce a new one, which is the Pinnacle. But 100% they mentioned Live Arena. So if we're going to have a quick look at this uh, thing right here now, it's been a few days since they leaked it. I just didn't have a chance to, to talk about it. But basically, if you're paying attention to this right here, let me just put it uh, on full screen. We're going to be able to stop it. Sorry if it's disturbing. It's basically kind of like motivating you a bit what's going to happen. And then they're giving you guys a couple of... Uh, teasers in here you know the great hall will be reworked and expanded this year so i'm i'm hoping that they're gonna add crit rate uh, crit rate to to the great hall as well a lot of times you're in the situation where damn you gotta build your champion and you're on 98 crit rate 99 crit rate and you're missing out on so many good stats with that with that set that you're planning to equip but you cannot use it because you're one or two crit rate short and when you are talking about arena that's actually very very important to be spot on with 100 percent crit rate so curious to see what's going to happen with the great hall now a lot of people like myself that they are in this situation where they have tons and tons of medals your great hall is max you don't really have what else to do with it and a lot of people that are playing the game for a long time right so if you just started the game you're not going to be able to instantly complete the Great Hall. This is a continuous grind. I'm always repeating it, guys, because I know a lot of people, they just come in the game, spend some money, and they think, bang, they beat the entire game. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Every damn mobile game out there is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time. Sometimes invest years in order to catch up with other players, which it does become harder and harder. This is not a sprint, okay? When you play these sort of games, you're in here for the long run, not for the short run. So the Great Hall will get redeveloped and expanded. So probably they're going to add new levels to it and they're going to rework it in a different way, which I'm not 100% sure exactly what they're planning to do, but definitely very curious about it. I just hope they're not going to be racking all the saved medals that we had before because that's gonna be absolutely disappointing for a lot of people out there just saying it you know like i i was always happy even if they were making a classic arena shop from where we can buy just like avatars and stuff like that with the extra medals that would have been a nice thing as well but they've never been uh, interested in doing that so the next thing that we have right here i'm going to try to catch it on the screen for you guys Hopefully it's not too disturbing to see the images going so fast. It can be pretty annoying. You'll rise to the top of the live arena. I gotta say it. I don't know how I can imagine a live arena in Raid. Maybe you guys can imagine it. But very, very curious to see it. And I'm excited to see this. I just hope they're gonna do a, a decent job at it. Just copy it from a different game. Don't mess it up. Don't... Don't put your crazy dumb ideas into it because a lot of times it, it ends up in being a disappointment. Same like Tag Team Arena. When we are talking about PvP, Plarium has literally no clue how the game works, no clue in how to create better content in terms of PvP. I just gotta say it. So another thing that I mentioned before, and that was the 
so-called big year of PvP, they mentioned clan versus clan, okay? They haven't mentioned Live Arena, they haven't mentioned anything else about the normal state of PvP. They mentioned that we're gonna get clan versus clan as a proper sort of fight, not just clan versus clan uh, tournament, you know? So I'm very curious to see if that is still on the roadmap, they're still planning to do anything about that, or they scrapped that idea and they're gonna do Live Arena instead, they're gonna do them both. Very curious, like, Raid has been out for like four years, but I still feel like it's a young game, it's developing very, very well, like they're adding so much content to it, and I just, I just like to have faith, you know, I just have, uh, like to have faith in, uh, in it. Now the next thing, is the dungeons. So recently we got the Sand Devils Necropolis. They've announced that this dungeon right here that is still locked behind my big head is gonna be the dungeon that will give us materials, oils to ascend our artifacts. So in my opinion, if they would kind of like go into a, a normal, normal schedule, that would be next. So maybe it's gonna come out on March during their anniversary, something big, should definitely be coming out in March. Like, we didn't really have any action for the last couple of months. Nothing nothing too crazy. So, last year, they mentioned they're delaying the year of PvP, and it's going to be in the first quarter of the first half of 2023. So, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in March. That being said, we, we covered that dungeon. And I've always, I've always talked on the channel about Doom Tower getting a new difficulty in the future. Seems like that might not be the case, at least not for this year, maybe in the future. We know that we are expecting Hydra to get new difficulty, to have uh, the new ads added in the game, which are already in the, in the data. But these two images that you see on the screen right now, they've been going around for the last few days. So basically, what's all the detail behind it. I think this information was data mined. I'm not even 100% sure, but basically what it says is that a new dungeon difficulty. So we're going to get a hard mode dungeon difficulty for Ice Golem, Dragon Slayer, Fire Knight, Spider. Basically, we're not going to be able to destroy the bosses in the same way. So right now, if you go right here, you see we have a 12 seconds farm. There is, I think, a 9 seconds farm on the Spider uh, Stage 25, like the, the best the best time. Fire Knight, 20 seconds plus. Same on any other dungeon. So I think they're going to completely revamp that sort of uh, farming. We're not going to be able to wreck the bosses completely. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I feel like six plus months ago, maybe a bit more than that, Ash had an interview with Cyrilla and they were talking about dungeons. And I remember clearly Cyrilla saying that Stage 25 is not the final stop for dungeons. Now, I, I can't recall it if she actually mentioned that we're going to get up to level 30 on dungeons or anything like that. I just know 100% that she said this is not the final stop. I know she went into a bit of more detail. I don't think we're going to get Stage 30 considering that we're getting hard mode dungeons. But what comes with that, guys, is mythical gear so far we've been able to collect mythical gear from the hydra right that uh that's been like this for like what around the year or so now and it's definitely looking like in the very close future we're gonna get mythical gear as well and that will completely completely bust everything all the old gear is gonna be like man it's gonna be a massive transition ascending it and everything else man is just like this i just want to put my hands on the head and be like Phew, you know because it's gonna be just absolutely nuts to farm so much gear again probably it's gonna require more energy instead of 20 per battle who knows how much energy one thing i'm saying though i'm really hoping that the rare gear will completely disappear from hard mode it's gonna be the same like the doom tower i'm, I'm hoping on a normal mode you get rare gear on hard mode rare gear disappears i hope it's gonna be the exact same thing with the new a dungeon's difficulty you see this freaking fire knight right here he looks completely different like it's kind of like a reskin of the exact same boss but he looks completely completely busted like he looks hardcore okay he looks like he's about to devour your soul and the thing 
with the mythical gear is that yeah it's gonna give you quite a bit of a boost if you manage to get the right pieces you're gonna need to get the main stat to get the right substats to roll the right substats assign the right the right stats on it it's just absolutely insane guys i don't know what, what to say we knew for a while that mythical gear is on on the way because if you guys remember i think i covered it on the channel it's been probably again like six seven months one player lost from his account a piece of speed gear that had a quad roll on speed and uh, platinum was not able to recover the exact same piece so instead they gave him a six star mythical gear from a speed set so when we've seen that we knew that mythical gear is coming 100 percent from the dungeons we just thought that it might be a bit a bit closer to to when it happened clearly it is in the in the making and i'm i am expecting to see this content this year guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what do you think is going to happen i feel like we're going to have long farm times on those dungeons the energy requirement is going to go high i just hope they're going to increase that 130 per level because it's just it's just not making sense anymore considering how much stuff we have in the game they should allow it to increase with the levels if they don't want to let it increase with the levels that we currently have just add 50 more levels go up to level 150 and let it increase from there one energy per level that will make a bit of a difference as well let me know your thoughts in the comments down below that being said guys we know kind of like what's what's planned for this year i'm super excited for live arena i just hope it's gonna be good we know another thing that is gonna come in the game at some point we just don't know exactly when but is this right here the great void it might be planned for this year it might not be but still very very curious to to find out Let's move over to pick up the winners for the giveaway, guys. So this was the video right here. You had to comment Gambo if you wanted to enter the giveaway because I know a lot of people don't care about the epics anymore, but a lot of you guys out there would love to get uh, uh, a Gambo because, hey, you might not have better nuker. So let's put in the link from the video. And right here, we got to make sure we are filtering comments based on specific text and we're gonna put gambo that's what uh, we require to do we do a bit of quick maths get you to comments and let's see 81 people were interested in gambo let's pick two winners good luck everyone and hopefully you're gonna you're gonna get it and we have hannes vr you want gambo i bet you do well, you got him. So let me just take a screenshot because I'm going to post it on the community tab as well. And that's one. Triple one because it seems like I already have a one in there. And we have one more winner, guys. Who is it? Genetex. Actually, I need Gambo in my poor free-to-play account. Well, you know what? You love Gambo. You want Gambo. You got Gambo. And I'm actually happy to know that it, go it goes to a free-to-play player because... It's so much harder for you guys to, to get the champions that you want. So, Janet X, congrats, buddy. You got a Gambo as well. So, we put that at 222. I'm going to post it on the community tab as well. And please feel free to reach to me on Discord so I can give you the code. I won't be able to just put it in a comment on YouTube because somebody might use it before you get it. You have the Discord in the video's description, in the pinned comment. So, Feel free to, to holler at me. That was all for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about all the upcoming things coming to the game. Appreciate all of you guys watching. Much love, and I'll catch you all soon in the next one. Peace.